What's up you guys? So yeah, I usually wear a hat because my hair is crazy. I'm kind of trying to grow it out really not knowing sure what to do But I do have to go get a haircut here in a little bit and yeah I'm not wearing a shirt, but it's because this vlog is supposed to be all for about uh, kind of a fitness journey that I've been on for the past maybe month or so and uh, I have lost a little weight been running maybe four times a week and just wanted to update you guys on my perspective on health and I actually lost maybe around 30 pounds in high school one other time and uh, I'm gonna throw in a clip maybe a few months ago of kind of like where I was as far as like I think I was a little overweight so here that is much more up close to personal maybe not overweight but you can see it in my face that I've been eating better and I just feel better overall but then when I was going really hard I noticed that I was finding a lot less energy and that's not really good because it's unrealistic to think that you're not that you're just not going to get burnt out but I was this past week or two and uh, was finding myself eating a lot of good food which that's another thing uh, good food is presented to me I'm going to eat it like good Mexican food if I'm going to go out or something I'm gonna still eat it, so. And I used to think that it's all about proportions and then also subtracting it out by doing lots of cardio, but not always the case. So my perspective on that is a toll on me and it was giving me kind of a lot of anxiety and stress and that's also just as important as physical health is, is mental health. And water is very important and I just wanted to take you guys on a journey on uh, kind of like my habits and in how I really approach health and fitness and uh, if, if that's what this channel is all about is because I want the live your vision vision to be like it's an awareness really it's not really a hustle mindset maybe you guys can use that as an example and I will think that's totally cool because I'm just an average dude you know nothing too crazy and just want you guys to know that anything's possible if you have the right mindset so mindset's key it's really not as difficult as you think I do go running at lunch at work and I just throw on my shoes and I just go so I'm gonna make a tuna fish sandwich I know I make tuna a lot but you can watch me eat it. So one thing I do want to mention is that processed foods are another thing for your mental health that I've just recently noticed and that I was eating Doritos and Mountain Dew. It's not always proportion because I was like, if I have one bag of Doritos, I'm all right, you know, but that if I have two bags of Doritos and a Mountain Dew, that's still not a lot of food for up until dinner time or something, but it really was jacking me up. I think that was really key in mental health and just health in general is that uh, processed stuff really can jack you up a little bit. Know the difference between craving and hunger. Good rule of thumb is uh, if you leave it out for too long, um, does it go bad? So that just is like a, a rule of thumb. You can have a pop tart and that won't go bad for months. If I leave this bread out, it's gonna go bad in a month. So, or if even. And um, I'm gonna throw a screenshot of the app I've used and it really just gives you an idea of what your nutrition and I don't always like keep it 100%. Then if your goal is to lose a little weight or a few pounds or shed a few pounds, take off maybe like 300 calories, you know? That's, try that. And then uh, I wanna bring up uh, fasting. Fasting is very common in many cultures and if you guys want to try it just try not eating for 24 hours make sure you're drinking water it kind of just resets the body and what you're eating I don't do it a whole lot I know it is very beneficial so try that if you guys keep up on my vlogs no I don't always just eat tuna but it just so happens to be I'm always buying tuna and eating it I, I eat like crap too I mean it is proportion so and that's where the calories come in and that's why I showed you guys that app. And a good rule of thumb if you are going to be running uh, three days a week to, f or to start off with and then really stick around maybe like as five days a week and that's same for resistant to really resistant training to really make a difference 
I don't always follow it, <laughs> and and then I really slack on the weekends. But I mean, something must have occurred because I'm not like super lean or ripped or anything. But I've lost a few pounds, and and I would say I've gotten maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't know about muscle, but we'll see. So yeah, I started off with maybe about 15, 15 push-ups max, and. I'm gonna see if I can do more. I'm not gonna go running with my camera, but let's see if I can do more. Let's get it! A new day here. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. I got my hair cut and uh, actually house sitting a couple of pups, really good dogs, and uh, got some actually more animals. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna give you guys an update on what really it means to have good health and stuff. And I slacked today a little bit, but I'm just gonna make up for it today. I had some McDonald's for lunch and I had some pizza. But like I said, it was some good food, so it was well worth it. Also just got this guy. Um, have had live for such a long time. But my Xbox actually never came with the headset, so I'm very happy that I got a nice, simple, um, clean, nothing too crazy. But I'm very excited just because it's nice and small headset. So I'm very excited to chat you guys up. I'm gonna put my gamer tag right here, so add me if you guys are on Xbox. You can play Grand Theft Auto, Forza, or whatever. So just super happy I got this. What up you guys? Just thought I'd show you the freaking chickens. And then we got some ducks over here. It's pretty crazy last night. I came outside to like feed them and then shut the uh, door to the coop and they already put themselves to bed, so I'm gonna let them out for the day. But we got some ducks over here. I wanna see if I can pet one. Oh, they noisy. Come on. <laughs> Crazy, huh? I think you kinda have to chase them. But yeah, let's go let out the chickens. Go be free. Look at the fluffy one. Look at the chicken! <laughs> I want the pet one. <laughs> Aww, how cute. That's petting a chicken. <laughs> Isn't that wild, you guys? Go be free! <laughs> How'd you sleep? Yeah? You sleep alright? Yeah, you're just hungry. <laughs> Yo, I just wanted to point out something funny I look out here. And all the ducks and the chickens are lined up on the fence, hanging out in the shade. Like literally all of them. <laughs> they got this big old backyard. And I literally just saw them all walk all over from the pond to chill up against the fence here. Yo, what's good, pups? I like how the ducks are all segregated from the chickens. <laughs> are you a man,